as some of you know that watch these videos that I do for Jesus on December 24th of 2010 is when I started making videos for Jesus on YouTube here and that was the same day that the Lord Jesus delivered me from smoking cigarettes my friends I've done so many things in my life so many drugs so many alcohol and, 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 and things like that I've, I've done pills ecstasy cocaine um, I've even tried crack a couple times um, you know I've, I've drank alcohol liquor uh, I've been addicted to internet pornography over 10 years ago and I've had many addictions in my life but there was never addiction that had me like smoking cigarettes had me I probably smoked from uh, about 10 years from around 2000 till around 2010 but there was never an addiction I had that had more control over me than that addiction I was literally feeding my flesh and for about eight of those ten years I was literally addicted and smoking at least a pack a day well my friends I haven't made any videos about stopping smoking because the Lord hadn't led me to but Jesus spoke to me here recently and he gave me a revelation about smoking cigarettes and it will not be popular for those of you that are still smoking but if you will take it to Jesus he will help you he will help you and he will deliver you from those cigarettes if you will surrender to him if you will surrender your life to him and this is what the Lord told me in my spirit he said my child the world has even banned cigarette smoking in public places the world has even put these limits on where you can smoke do you not think that if you are my child and your body is my temple that I will accept you into my kingdom if you continue to smoke cigarettes and defile your body your body is not your own your body is mine my friends he reminded me that this body this is his temple and it's him that lives inside of us and if you are truly serious about following Jesus you will put all of your focus on Jesus you will take your focus off of your addiction and you will put it on Jesus and you will begin to tell those cigarettes you look at those cigarettes and you say you are not my boss I follow Jesus I obey Jesus and I'm no longer gonna surrender to you I'm no longer gonna feed my flesh but I'm gonna surrender to Jesus I'm gonna lay my life down it's no longer what I want it's what Jesus wants and my friends if you begin to draw closer to Jesus he will set you free from smoking those nasty cigarettes my friends our body is the temple of God and everyone that is filled with the Spirit of God is his temple my friends we are the church we are the ones that are called out believers we are his vessels and we're either instruments of righteousness or instruments of wickedness my friends Jesus wants to fill you with his Holy Spirit Jesus wants to set you free but my friends you must resist the devil and when you truly submit to Jesus when you truly submit to Jesus you'll be able to resist that devil and he will flee from you but my friends you must want it you must pray without ceasing you must put all of your focus in on Jesus tune in to Jesus tune in to Jesus he will help you he will strengthen you and when you put all of your focus on him those little cigarettes they'll be easy to lay down he'll just take it away but you gotta really want it you gotta hunger and thirst after it like you've never hungered for anything else my friend he will set you free he can do all things you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength my friends you can do it I'm praying for you if you need if you need any type of encouragement or anything I'm available you can call me you can you can call me on Skype you know hit me up for my Skype name or, or, or just write me a message leave me a message my links to Facebook are on my on my page but, but I'm telling you you can do it you can you can stop smoking my friends it, it takes your confidence you will not be able to com confidently go to the throne of God you will not be able to confidently confidently come to him and say Lord Lord and you will bring your request and your supplications and your petitions to him you'll stand in the gap for other people but my friends if you continue to flee feed your flesh with all of these all of these vices whether it be smoking or or whatever it might be whatever addiction that you have whatever you're bound in you won't have the confidence my friend and when you stand before Jesus 
You'll be feeling shame. You'll be shamed. Because he wanted to empower you. He wanted to give you the strength and power to be able to stop doing those things that you're doing. So my friends, if you continue to trust in yourself and to just continue to walk in the flesh and feed your flesh, you will perish. You can do it. I know you can. I'm praying for you. May Jesus bless you.